this is a quick video on how to update your KT200 to to the newest May slash June 2024 firmware so first of all under the screws pull the cover you'll be left with this board in this position take this board off be careful that it is glued well kind of double sided tape down put that board to the side you have to need two jumpers one of them goes on that JP one there and the other one goes on the bottom of the board the new board there you will then connect the board back into it where it should be now when you connect that to the computer that LED will blink there's an LED on top and it will blink until it's connected until it will just sit there until the firmware is updated ideally you need to uninstall the old KT200 and install the new one and then you should end up with a KT300 folder so this is the newest one and you should end up with this and what you do is you go up here with the USB plugged in only flashing then the new board flashing and click update firmware then click go and it should say update successful then what you have is the LED on the top of the new board will be solid red you then unplug it uh, take the board remove the board back out of its mounting hole so you remove this take it back off and remove the jumper that you've just put on JP1 here and remove the jumper off the bottom of the board and what you do you reassemble it this is just quickly for a video you reassemble making sure it's seated properly you then plug it back into your device bit difficult with one hand and you should get that that's how it should be no 12 volt connected not yet don't need to and then you come to your desktop and load the new firmware the new software the update edition wait for that to load any minute does take a while bless it and the board is just solid red light means it's working the timing date has to be correct ideally disable your antivirus and we should load up and there you go it's all working I've tested it this morning on two vehicles it seems fine so far any help just ask